Hi, it's Mark Owen from Moose Marketing and PR, the editor of Punchline Magazine. This afternoon, I'm joined by Neil Rickett, CEO of Vasarian. Neil, good afternoon. Thanks ever so much for joining Punchline Talks. Great news. I hear you've won 9.1.9, not 9.1, but 1.9, big number, million pounds of, uh, of a deal with South Korean company. Can you tell us all about it, please? Yeah, sure. So uh, really important news for us. We obviously acquired the assets and the IP from Hanwha Aerospace in December. And this is linked to that. December seems like a long time ago, but it's only a few weeks, to be honest. And um, here we are doing a deal with a South Korean company called Graphene Labs. The money's great, don't get me wrong. It's always nice when someone pays you 1.93 million uh, and that money will be used to help us get uh, South Korea up and running as well as our UK uh, R&D and We'll be joined by our other uh, um, kind of fundraising over the year, the the G Scale Innovate Loan, and and so on. But what's really really important in this relationship is that uh, this guy is really really important in the development of what we've bought, the chemical vapor deposition technology that that came as a, a part of that acquisition. The guy that runs Graphene Labs, he was part of the original Samsung team, and he's listed in some of the patents. And what we've done is we've had a kind of mini merger where we're kind of operating together to exploit that IP where we'll get paid a royalty. Uh, we'll be able to find somewhere to house the facilities in their laboratories in South Korea, in Seoul. And, uh, and then we'll be able to develop new products. And that's the bit I'm really keen on, Mark. This is about actually accelerating graphene into things that we can use. And in this particular case, it's all about um, OLEDs, it's all about electronic devices, something that a few years ago we couldn't even think about graphene having an impact. But now that we've got those assets, which originally came from Samsung, and now we've got the uh, the knowledge and the experience from this um, uh, Mr. Kwon, who runs Graphene Labs, it's a real kind of coming together of all of these things at the same time. And it's really, really great news for Viserion. And when you say great news for Viserion, how is this going to impact to Gloucestershire and Cheltenham? So we do our R&D and our facilities uh, in Gloucestershire are all about graphene now. And we've got some exciting news hopefully coming about that as well and how we're developing that. But um, this is more about the group growing up and seizing the global opportunity. Gloucestershire is our headquarters. It's where we're based, but we're also operating in the US, China, uh, South Korea, more importantly, uh, as well as Japan, Malaysia and some other areas. So. Uh, this is about the company growing up, uh, being based in Gloucestershire, but having this far reach in this global world that we now that we now play in. Uh, was, you were doing the face masks last time we talked. Then you then you were doing the clothing. Is there any other new got, products? Got, we mentioned the new. Got me clothing on at the moment. <laughs> I'm all branded up, Mark. You're, you're branded uh, up, nowhere really, to go really in your well. garage. There, branded up, in nowhere to go in your garage. Yeah, well, hopefully with that 1.93 million pounds, I'll be able to move out of my garage. But um, uh, we've got. Um, uh, lots going on. It doesn't matter whether it's construction, whether it's defence, whether it's uh, consumer goods like those masks. Uh, that's all still going ahead. Uh, we're having to uh, adapt to the, the legislation changes post kind of the relaxation around COVID. That's an international play as well. Uh, we're seeing lots and lots of um, uh, opportunities for us to use our technology uh, in, in lots of different areas. So really Although, you know, it's a difficult time for everybody, we're seeing lots of opportunities ourselves and we're trying to move as quickly as we can. Heavily recruiting at the moment, we're trying to take on more scientists, we're trying to take on more technicians, more engineers, uh, and we're really getting to that point where graphene is starting to be used in lots of different areas now. So, um, you know, I still think that textiles will be our next big thing and we're working with uh, lots of different manufacturers and, and lots of different uh, suppliers of, of textiles. Uh, but, you know, construction is coming up very quickly as well. And it'd be great to get some pieces around Gloucestershire that uh, that demonstrate our technology. Neil, always great to talk to you. Thanks ever so much for catching up with Punchline Talks today. Cheers, Thanks mate. very much, Mark.